Hi everyone, this is Mr. Neil Reiters here, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with blocked earwax and dead skin in both ears. They had used a Q-tip, uh, also known as a cotton bud in the UK, in an attempt to clear their ears, but in fact, they only served to make uh, the impaction worse because what the cotton bird q-tip had done is just further impact and squash this um, earwax and um, dead skin deeper in the ear onto the eardrum. Now with this particular patient if memory serves me correct um, it was involuntary on their part but they had a continuous chewing uh, action although uh, I don't think they're actually chewing anything so their jaw was constantly moving and I think it was just an involuntary uh, action, so it's not something that they were aware of or could stop. Um, and as such, it did actually make the procedure slightly more difficult. You may see on the screen there's a up and down almost uh, motion on the camera, and that's just the patient's jaw moving continuously. And um, But we, we accommodated for that, and sometimes we have that. I think there's an earlier uh, procedure this week that I uploaded whereby I had an elderly patient whose head was just naturally tilted forwards and that meant I had to, um, although I've got an adjustable medical stool, uh, even then, even at the lowest level, it wasn't at the right angle so I had to come off the stool and uh, almost kneel on my knees and look up into the ear to get the angle. So similarly here we're just having to accommodate for this um, just chewing motion. Uh, I've got another client who is actually coming back tomorrow, they've booked him back tomorrow. They, they suffer from um, Parkinson's and they've got a, a, a continuous head tremor, which is a bit more difficult actually. That's um, far more exaggerated movements than, than this patient. And um, the patient's son actually attends with the patient and just helps stabilise the head whilst I'm in the ear. So, but it can be a bit challenging. Now with this consistency of wax, they had been also been using some drops, some hydrogen peroxide drops, which actually makes this matters worse sometimes because um, I find anyway, it's just my personal anecdotal um, if, incidental findings that hydrogen peroxide drops turns the wax quite mushy in consistency. Um, whereas if you're using olive oil drops, it binds the wax together and it comes out in bigger plugs, but nonetheless, it didn't cause much of an issue. Now, there's a bit of soft wax here, right on the anterior canal wall, and because of the, the patient's jaw moving, I'm just being extra careful, I don't want to graze that, and I took a bit, and I just left the rest, it's not important, it's not significant. Eardrum's healthy, slightly opaque in appearance, let me say opaque, uh, a natural healthy eardrum, for example, an average 20 year old's eardrum, it's slightly translucent, you can sometimes see some of the middle ear structures, the bones through the eardrum. In this particular patient, on both sides, slightly more opaque, so it wasn't as um, transparent. Couldn't uh, see through. Now, this is the, the right end. You can see where the cotton bud had been pushed into. You can see that where I am now, there's like an indentation. You can see the, the mould of the, the shape of the cotton bud Q-tip take, take place there. So it's imprinted within the wax. And again, just have to be really gentle because the patient's jaw is moving. Um, don't want to bump into this canal wall. So I'm just at the base of the ear canal. I'm trying to lift this up. Um, just kind of kissing the surface, just to reveal the canal wall. It's hard to, to, to know when the canal wall is because the wax was coating on the canal wall. So just by suctioning around, uh, managed to... Um, Visualise the canal wall a bit better. Now I'm able to lift this up. And we'll just go to the front part of the ear canal. So that's quite fortunate in this case, although they had been using the hydrogen peroxide drops. So the wax did still hold its own structure. It's a bit, it wasn't as gooey and as mushy. It still had a bit of um, firmness to it. So it was still... Had it, it wasn't loose, that's probably the word I'm looking for. Sometimes the hydrogen peroxide drops, um, it makes the wax and skin very loose and it just comes out, it's almost molten. Um, but another good descriptor. But this is, you can see, it's a bit firmer, it's holding its shape a bit more. And I'm just going around and I'm just trying to separate this plug from the base of the ear canal, so left, right, and then to the middle. And where we are now, you can see I'm wriggling this wax plug out and it's just lodged. So, Near to the eardrum, the ear canal narrows and it widens again. We call that the region the isthmus. 
And quite often when you're using Q-tips especially, you can force wax beyond this natural narrowing of the ear canal so it gets lodged. And then we have to tease it back out again. So I think I've just put some drops in just to lubricate the wax plug. And it will just help wriggle this out. It'll also help to um, lubricate the inside of the suction probe. So if there's any wax traveling up it, it doesn't get blocked. And I'm just teasing this upwards out of the narrowing. You can see there, I've managed to get the bulk of the plug out. And we can see the eardrum. So there's just a bit of wax keratin at the base of the ear canal. So this is where the isthmus starts. You, you'll see like a little V shape. It'll be more prominent in a minute. Again, I'm just being really, really gentle. Just to avoid contact. And there's a little bit at the roof of the ear canal. Because it was a big target, I thought I'd be fine going for it. If it was a bit more a thin coating, I'll probably just left it in this particular patient. But it was a bit of a thicker layer, so it gave me more margin for error. So even with the head movements, we're very unlikely to make contact now. There's a bit around the edge. Now, this is more the cartilaginous portion. So again, it's still being gentle, of course, but I'm going to just try and mop up as much of this dead skin as I can. This is at the front part of the ear canal. The if, uh, uh, the lateral part. It's a bit stubborn the skin. There's a bit at the back as well. I'm going to get in a moment. You'll see that. So I'm just gliding the the, the this is the fine end suction probe. I'm just gliding it across the surface of the the canal and hoping. So this, it's actually dead skin, this Ked Keratin. I've got as much out as I can. I'm not going to overwork that and, and, and we're then risking um, possibly cutting the ear canal and bruising it. It's just a bit of remnants here. Again, I'm going to do the same thing. Again, you can see it's really gentle here. I've actually bent the suction tube. I don't know if you can see. You may have saw there's a little kink in there. And that was just to almost uh, make sure the tip of the suction pipe goes away from, uh, from making direct contact with the canal wall. Just mopping up around the edge there. And that's the patient's eardrum. And that's all the remnants, that's all the wax. Keratin, you can see the mixture there, dead skin and also wax from both ears. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys, and you're all keeping well and safe. Um, stay tuned and I will upload some new videos during the course of the week. Bye.